Here's another example that's uh, slightly different, where I want to expand first and then simplify if possible. So this expression, I, I can't do any sort of substitution with. There's no substitution just for cosine of theta or for sine of theta. So, and I want to expand this. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to remember that this is the same thing as cosine of theta minus sine of theta times itself, since I'm squaring it. So this is cosine of theta minus sine of theta. So I can multiply this just like I can multiply x's and y's and numbers. I'm going to uh, double distribute. So I'm going to multiply the cosines, I'm going to multiply the cosine and the sine, the sine and the cosine, and the sine and the sine. So that all boils down to uh, cosine times cosine is cosine squared of theta. Cosine times sine, negative sine, is negative cosine theta, sine theta. Uh, sine times cosine, a negative sine times cosine is negative sine cosine theta. Right, there's a theta in there too. And then uh, negative sine times a negative sine is a positive sine squared of theta. <clears throat> All right, now I just want to do a little bit of, of a rearrangement and simplifying. So uh, this cosine theta sine theta is the same thing as sine theta cosine theta. In the same way that x times y is equal to y times x, hey, there's another identity. Uh, I can... Um, combine this and say this is the same thing as minus 2 times the cosine of theta sine theta. So let me just group those two terms together. And this is like a negative 1 and a negative 1. Bring them together, that's a negative 2. And then actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to group this cosine squared of theta and the sine squared of theta together. And I'm going to write this down as plus cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta. Now hold on a second. I think I see an identity. Yes, I do. Cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta equals 1. So that means uh, that all of this is equal to 2 cosine of theta sine of theta plus 1. And there you have it. Now a good question to ask is like, how do I know when I'm done? Well, if I'm looking at this and I can't apply any identities, then that's a good surefire way. Oh, this is a negative 2. That's a good surefire way to determine that you are finished. Um, and, I mean, if you wanted, you could try to see, can I factor anything out? Um, can I rearrange this to look like something that's ready to have an identity substitution? And I could write this any way I like. I can't factor out anything. Um, I certainly can't use a Pythagorean identity. There's no, no, nothing's being squared. Um, so those are some good signs that I am, in fact, finished. Why don't you try this example? Again, expand and simplify um, if possible. So pause the video and give this one a shot. Okay, uh, this one turned out actually not simplifiable. When you expand it, you get something like this. I suppose you could uh, go ahead and substitute in an, an identity for cosine squared of alpha, but really it's not going to add uh, or, or create any sort of simplification of this expression. You're actually just putting more things in there. Uh, so really, uh, I would say this is a fine answer. Could not simplify it in this case. It was not possible to simplify.